Hey guys, Sean here from Quartz Tech. So today we're going to be checking out some Silicon Power DDR4 gaming RAM. Now, Silicon Power usually do stuff like uh, all types of storage solutions such as power banks, uh, micro SD, they do just generic RAM, they do SSDs, they do M.2s, they do a whole wide array of uh, memory and power bank solutions. So I reached out to them and said, hey, you've got some gaming RAM. Let's see if we can bang it out of the system and, and see how it goes in sort of the, the more uh, budget orientated um, memory modules that are on the market today. So it doesn't have any RGB, no lighting, no nothing. Um, it's just got an aluminium heatsink on the outside. My only criticism with this aluminium heatsink is that it's quite thin. So if you get in there, you can see how thin it is. Now the actual design, overall design of the RAM looks beautiful. This side here looks great. You get it on its edge, which is the side you're gonna see, and there's this big section here missing. Now it would have been awesome to see if they filled this, you know, just covered it all together, or even put an LED light bar in a version two or something like that, um, because it does look really good on this front side, but the side that you actually see, it actually looks quite, generic and bland and uh, the only other thing I can see being an issue because this is such lightweight material is that um, these bits here you can sort of see there's a gap through there now if you hit that hard enough you'll bend that and break it I can guarantee you that so if you drop your RAM you throw it in a drawer whatever the case may be um, I can see that being a potential failure point of the RAM so Aesthetically, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Like I said, it is a budget orientated RAM, much like Corset LPX, which I have some right here. This doesn't have XMP settings either. So if you go to into your BIOS, which is what I did, couldn't find any XMP settings. You had to, I just set it to 2400 and see what the timing. So it gave me 17, 17, 17, 38 timings. Um, I tried to, I, I could overclock it up to 2800 megahertz no worries left the timings at stock uh, or at auto sorry yeah the timings sort of hovered around that at 2800 that was sort of 18 18 18 39 um, but at 2666 it actually went 15 17 17 36 and that was my best test out of all of them so at 2666 this ram actually does really really well so the the testing platform that i used today was this guy here which is my skylake box I was meant to be testing on Crosshair 6 Extreme with a Ryzen, a Ryzen 1700 chip, but it had dramas and I just didn't really think it was gonna be imperative that I tested on that platform. I just wanted to see what the throughput was, what the latency was, and what timings I could extract out of this RAM. So, that being said, let's go to the results and see how we did. Okay guys, so what did you think of the results for the Silicon Power DDR4 2400? Um, yeah, I thought that was quite good. I wasn't expecting uh, the throughput and the latency that I was going to get out of this kit. But in saying that, it's all much of a much just until you get to the ultra high end, you know, 3000 megahertz plus kits. So for the money, this is going to be around that 220 to $250 mark considering DDR4 RAM is um, pretty inflated at the moment. I didn't get a clear price from Silicon Power before I released this video, but they did indicate to me that it would be around that 220 to 250 Australian dollar price bracket. So that being said, I'm going to do some gaming with this RAM now to see how it goes. Um, but other than that, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a like. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.